the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nome is back. And in this video, I am going to show you a list of my top specials for boss fights under fight passes and spinnable specials. So are you ready? Let's make this fast. And I'm gonna explain why I chose it. So with the specials, we're gonna use this one, the Explosive Nova and the Champion, Marco the Phoenix. Gamer Nome, I don't have Marco. Uh, just use Itachi or Pebble Lee. Why? They both have the same 50% increased damage, so yeah, just the same. The good thing with Marco is it has heal, but you won't be needing it. So we will be starting with the Bloodline. Again guys, we're just talking about one special. That's why you won't be seeing the, what do you call this, the Kurama Bloodline. Because if you combine it with other specials such as the Armament, etc. It will be very powerful, but I won't be including that. I, will, I chose a special that can stand on its own, okay? So first up, we have here the White Eyes. So let's check the two skills. The Palm Rotation and the 1, 2, 8 Palms. They're both strong. This one, first up. The damage of that is 400 plus. Not bad, right? Not bad. Comparing it to the 1, 2, 8 Palms. So remember, if you watch my previous video, this special is also good in Tournament Dimension. You're able to hit your enemy with this skill, one hit. In tournament dimension, but in boss, two hits, right? Okay, so if, if you're gonna use this, use the 1 to 8 palms. If you prefer the one with the spinning skill, then go for it. Okay, that will be it. But it won't be complete if we fight a small and fast boss, right? Again, we have two types of boss in terms of uh, the height and how large it is, how small it is. There are skills that are good in big bosses and are bad in small bosses like maybe the second skill of the moon style right okay so that's why i'm showing it to both kurama and broly there we go okay it's a win next up for the grimoire for me the best grimoire is the wind grimoire why the c skill of this Guys, we're gonna try it with Broly to make it faster. It's the same with Kurama. And again, Kurama is a lot easier. We're gonna use the C skill. Check this out. The, da the damage is, I think, 100 something. Yeah, 100 plus. And we're, we're, we're gonna focus on the cooldown. Guys, there's almost no cooldown with this. Pull out. Just run for like two or three seconds and you can hit your enemy with it again see that so it's just a hit and run oh by the way i did not include again the stand it's hard to get guys i was trying to get the crafted in heaven it's almost the same with this with this wind wind grimoire the strategy just hit and run okay it's hard to unlock that stand last time i was able to do it but now I'm not that lucky. Next up for the sword style, we have the moon style guy. It's the best sword style so far in the game. Both good in tournament and in boss fights. The damage, if you were able to hit uh, the C skill, is 500 plus. I forgot to include that. It should have only been two hits. I mean, two, two skills, two C skills, but yeah, that's fine. See that? Very easy. Next up, pyrokinesis. So far, the best that I've seen is the radiation. The problem with that is it's the best for pyrokinesis, pyrokinetic or whatever, but it really sucks, guys. It really looks strong. There you go. But the damage. I think if we have gone the, the, ner the uh, not nerfed version of Gun, this will be very strong. But check this out, guys. So low. Even if we have the explosive Nova and Marco the Phoenix, so I cannot take this any longer. <laughs> uh, no, it's too long, guys. Let's lose. Let's just lose, okay? So I don't suggest pyrokinesis, but Severed Slash and the Blazing Kick is very good in tournament dimension. Next up, we have the Quirk. So under Quirk, we I chose Explosion. Why Gamer Nob? 
Ochako's second skill is very good. The zero gravity quirk. Guys, uh, situational. That quirk is only good in big bosses like Kurama, uh, Beast King, or in maybe Inferno. But this is for every boss. You just need high running speed, 1, 2, 6. Use your AP shot, there you go, and hit and run. So if you're gonna ask me, I'll just pick this quirk. Universal for every kind or type of boss. Do you agree? Comment it on the comment section. So far, guys, Gamer Nom, again, where's the bloodline? The Kurama bloodline. Guys, that bloodline has no skill aside from uh, using the cloak. So if you use that cloak, which uh, it cannot, it will only increase your punch and sword slash. But we won't be using that special. We need other powers, right? It will be unfair for other specials, okay? Okay. Okay. Next up, we have... Okay, the armament. So, again, boss fights. This is the best special for every boss, okay? No questions asked. Why? Moon style, there is a chance that you will get hit with the C skill, right? Because you need to be uh, in close range. This one... As you can still one hit Kurama with this one. See that? How about in small bosses? Hmm. Yeah, you can still do it. But you really need to time it. Sometimes you'll miss, sometimes not. Check this out. Two seconds, I already jumped to, just to time it. You really need to time it properly. See that? No damage. <laughs> one more time, guys. One more time. You really need to time it. Okay. Aim for it. Okay. So my suggestion is, I think one second. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully that's the timing that we're waiting for. Okay. Okay, I think there's enough damage for that. Okay, half HP. We were not able to hit all of it, but not bad, right? Not bad. Okay. Wait for him to hit the laser. There you go. And when he uses his energy burst, that's our timing. There you go. That covers all the specials from Fight Pass and Spinnable. But guys, let me show you the strongest ever. I mean... Combination of specials, etc. If you were able to unlock this, then you can one-hit all bosses so far. Except Inferno. There you go, the uh, Fragrant Olive and the uh, Kurama Bloodline. If you combine them, again, jump is the Fragrant Olive. And after unleashing the power, transform into your Kurama or Baryon mode. You can one-hit every boss. I'm telling you, one-hit. Even if you don't have uh, Escanor, yeah, you can do it. Okay, so Gamer Nom, how about Inferno Boss? Uh, Inferno Boss is an exemption to the one hit. Uh, you need two hits to defeat that boss. Yeah. I'm going to show it to you. There you go. This is it. This is the strongest one. So if you think some specialist is stronger, comment it on the comment section. Let's see. Again, that will be it. I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, this is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.